internet today is Friday, May 13th, 2011. Friday the 13th. If I knew in advance, I wasn't really paying attention. I would have picked a scary wise than lighting. So R and better now. I'll change. I could have changed the color anyway. But as you can see the title, we are watching Unthinkable today. So you watch a trailer of that now. And I'll see you and we'll discuss. I'm here because I want to be here. I will find your lie and I will break you. No! This is not about you! This is war! This is sacrifice! This operation is dominating! There's no time! Okay, so Unthinkable. Awesome movie. Probably one of my favorite movies of the year. I don't know why it went straight to DVD, but we'll talk about that later. So, Michael Sheen and Samuel L. Jackson, two main characters. Michael Sheen used to work uh, overseas in our military, which is why he knows how to make nukes. He knows how to make nuclear bombs. So, he is now a terrorist. He has two kids, uh, his wife is Muslim, and his two children were raised Muslim. So he puts three nuclear bombs in three American cities. Says, if you don't give me what I want, I will blow it up. So they capture him. He actually lets himself get caught. He stands in the mall for 30 minutes, stands exactly straight, doesn't move. They capture him. They give him to the seasoned interrogator, Samuel L. Jackson. And he's all like, Samuel L. Jackson, he's like, what I have to do, I will do it. And basically, the whole movie is based around how they are ripping apart the Constitution. And there's the one lady that is, like, head of the FBI, and she's like, "This we can't do this, this is unconstitutional. Because at one point, actually not at one point, it's basically uh, the whole movie, Samuel L. Jackson starts torturing Michael Sheen. And just tortures him. He just tortures him for the entire movie. He starts off, he cuts off his finger. He cuts off his, he cuts off his finger. Spoiler alert, so fast forward two minutes. He cuts off his finger, then they start torturing him. The weirdest thing, they, at one point they start drilling into his teeth. It was a very violent, a very violent movie. Um, so at one point they capture his wife, they bring him in, they bring him right in front of uh, him. He's, he's like tied down, so Samuel L. Jackson, at this point it's like the morning of, it's about to happen, where it's a timer, where they're gonna blow up. Okay? He, he slits the, he Samuel L. Jackson slits the wife's throat right in front of Michael Sheen while he's tied down. Okay, and then he's like, make it stop, because Samuel uh, Michael Sheen knows that they're probably going to bring his kids in next. So he's like, make it stop! And they like, you're going to have to tell me where the bombs are. So he gives them one bomb that's supposedly in a mall, the one in Los Angeles. They go to a mall, they go to the roof, his picture is taped to a button. They pick up his picture across the street, a mall blows up. And then they go back to him, and they were, and he goes through this whole rant. Ah, this is unconstitutional. I know you would arrest me. I know this is what my plan. And he's all crazy, which is why he's a, such a great actor. Um, and then he he comes back, and and he, uh, Samuel L. Jackson comes back, and he has his kids. He brings uh, Michael Sheen out uh, outside of the interrogating room, and he brings the kids in. And he's like, "You just saw me kill your wife." I'm going to torture your kids. If you don't tell me where the bombs are, you know I'll do it. So he does it, and and he's about to torture them, and he gives and he gives them the three bombs. He gives them the three bombs. But then Samuel L. Jackson comes out, and he's like, there's a fourth bomb. There's always a fourth bomb. And obviously there's a fourth bomb. And then he, he, um, he unties them, because at this point he has no fingertips. And throughout the movie, they keep making the joke, you can't prosecute a man with no fingertips with no fingernails, which it might be true, I'm gonna Google it. Um, so, they release him, he gets a gun, he's about to shoot Samuel L. Jackson. But instead, while they're trying to find out if there's a fourth bomb, he kills himself. And then as one of the ladies, the FBI agent, is walking Michael Sheen's kids out, the movie ends. And I'm like, what? Why would this happen to me? Why is this happening to me? I was like on the edge for the whole movie, and they were just like, no thank we don't we don't want to tell you we just no we don't yeah no so that that was an awesome movie except for the end it, it's actually made me kind of mad um a link is down in the underbar although you should remember that uh make sure you're signed into Netflix and then click the link uh down in the underbar to watch that movie um live on uh on instant queue on Netflix so i will see you guys on monday peace off remember to subscribe like this video